Finally! I bought this thing like a week ago. And this is the first time I'm finally get to bust it open. See, that's how life works. When you're grown and have stuff to do. All the hobbies and the fun stuff gotta wait. The cover. The platter thing. And the player, which I need two hands to bust. Uh, these new players are pretty cool. They got like these suspension systems built in. So then you have the platter. And you got the little felt cover pad. Alright. Now before I go crazy putting this thing together, I want to make sure the motor is not broken. So to make the return process pretty easy. So the power supply, it looks like the power is pretty low, 12 volts, 2 amps. So I can use my little portable power supply here. And I could uh, turn it on, make sure everything is copacetic. All right, lights is on, lights is on. All right, let's get it to spin. I don't hear no noise. Switch it, switch RPM. Dead quiet, let's turn up the pitch. Slow the pitch down. All right, everything looks like it's working. So I got my needle and my counterbalance. So the needle, that's the most delicate part, so I'm gonna put it off to the side until I'm ready for it. My counterbalance, put this on and gently twist it on to the tone arm. Okay, so I took the cartridge assembly out of the bag because I gotta balance the tone arm, but I left the case on so I don't damage the stylus. So I'm going to gently press it into the slot, and then you twist it so it locks into place. So now the needle is installed, and I can finish untying the tone arm. All right, now we're going to balance the tone arm. So I turn on the light for this so you can see. So what we're going to do is we're going to release it, take it off the mount, move it over towards the platter so you can see. Now it's shift it this way because there's too much counter on this side so I'm gonna turn it slowly and the idea is to get it level kind of like that weight machine you see at the gym so I'm turning it turning it slowly it's almost there but I had to back it off some the idea is to have it straight but not touching nothing so that's balanced now I turn this to zero because it's at the point where it's balanced right and then now I'm going to turn it to the recommended 2 grams. And now it should sit on the platter. There, tone arm is balanced. Alright, so I got my little rig set up so I could plug it to my sound bar. So I plug the RCAs into the turntable. I got it set to line because it's going to be an analog signal that's going to run to this box. That's going to convert it to fiber optics. So this is the fiber optic that's going into my sound bar. Fortunately, unfortunately, this little box requires power too. So it has a USB cable that I have to my little power supply. So I'm going to turn on the power. This is power on the turntable. This is power in the box, 5 volts. So i got lights. Now I just got to run the fiber optic uh, to the sound bar up here. And then we'll play a record. All right, so let's turn it on. If you know me, you knew exactly what record I was starting with. So we're gonna move the tone arm to the beginning of the record, which looks like to be about right there. Let it spin, let the tone arm drop. All right, I don't hear anything. I hear noise. Something's wrong. Oh, maybe the RPM is wrong. Okay, I hear... I hear something coming out of here, but I don't hear no sound. I hear it playing. Can you hear that? So something's wrong here. So let me investigate. It's playing out of the needle, but I'm not getting no sound out of the sound bar. And I think I know what the problem is. So... I think it's only one digital signal allowed, and I think the HDMI is getting priority. So I wonder if I unplug this. 
So here's my review. Um, running it through optical to the soundbar sounded mediocre for me, but uh, this particular turntable has Bluetooth, so I tried it over Bluetooth, and it actually sounded the same, if not better. So the preamp in this um, turntable is actually pretty decent. It's not going to work for my audio file ears, but I'm actually going to leave it here for the week and play it like that while I build my other audio setup. Because I actually have a dedicated audio setup for this. I just don't have the time to put it together right now. But uh, yeah, the setup works and you don't even need to do all of this wiring. I got the LP120XBT USB from Audio-Technica. So that's a decent choice if you're looking to get into the vinyl game. Yeah. <laughs>